The second team taking on this Transparency in Public Procurement Challenge is the Free Software Foundation Europe. So let's have a look at their video and see what they've been doing. Hi, my name is Alexander Sander. I'm FSFE's policy consultant and part of the TED Active team. We are trying to use open data to bring more transparency to the procurement process. In this regard, we are happy to take part in this year's edition of EU Datatron, and we are also looking forward to present our project in Brussels. Hi, I'm Linus. I'm a systems administrator with the Free Software Foundation Europe. We want to empower people to control technology, and we think that European tendering data should be freely accessible to everybody who wishes to investigate it. That's why we built Detective. Hello, I'm Michael. I believe that open data should be easily accessible to everyone. That is what I can contribute as a web developer to Detective. We take concrete action to protect and extend user rights by empowering users to control technology. We are proud to be finalists in this year's Datathon and look forward to participating in the event. Hello, everybody. Um, so today I'm going to present um, our ad uh, called Detective. Um, it's a free, also known as open source, uh, solution to make European tendering data explorable um, for non-experts. So why is this needed? Um, we've seen a number of attempts to make TED data more accessible, and some of them have been uh, quite successful. Yet, we weren't really able to identify a single freely accessible interoperable, or solution based on an interoperable data format like OCDS, the Open Contract and Data Standard, um, and one that's based fully on um, free software. Um, so we thought, okay, let's build this for this year's Datathon and show that uh, free software is really able to solve this problem quite effectively. Um, let's think of a couple of user stories here. So let's think of a public servant who wants to know what government bodies um, in Germany, for example, buy from an entity called Microsoft Deutschland GmbH, or Microsoft Germany, um, to see how much money they could save um, by using free software instead. Um, or let's say you're a journalist um, who wants to investigate the recent purchases or the recent procurement made by the Polish Border Guard. Detective will allow you to explore European tendering data in a way um, to, to really answer those questions or get an entry point into an investigation. Um, we built the app on a kind of core principle, which is uh, KISS, FOSS, um, keeping it simple uh, while using free and open source software. Um, so we have a simple data model. We only have parties. Um, these are buyers or sellers. They can be similar to each other. This is our initial effort at deduplicating. Um, I can talk more about this in the Q&A. Um, and we have tenders, um, and parties can supply tenders, and tenders are tendered by a party. So this is our um, free software architecture. We parse the XML data that's published um, daily, monthly, um, and parse that into a PostgreSQL, um, and then we transform that into a Neo4j database. Um, that's a graph back database. Um, we have an API in front of that, and then we build the dashboard that queries that API. This is all free software, and um, I will now show you what it can do. So here we see um, an overview um, of data that's from January 2019 to March 2022. We have a geographic distribution of buyers and sellers. Um, and here we can really start an investigation of a party that's in the data set. We, we will first get um, a geographic distribution, so we'll see um, on a map where this um, party is sold to. And then on the right, we'll see a graph of green is parties, and yellow or red is tenders, and red tenders are above one million of award value, and orange is, um, is half a million of award value. Then we can drill down on this data. We can, for example, add open the TED notice. Um, and now we can, this would serve as a very good entry point um, for any investigation that the public servant would like to make. Um, now we can investigate the Polish border guard, if we know what um, border guard means in Polish. Um, <laughs> we'll again get the geographic distribution um, and the graph on the right side. We'll see here that they mostly procured in Poland um, and that there's also quite a lot of high value tenders there. 
um, and we could drill down on the particular entities, corporate or otherwise, that they interacted with. Um, and we can, again, drill down to see, to get more information and get the links to the, to the actual data source. A um, problem that we faced um, was deduplicating TED data. TED data is really complex and it's not deduplicated. Um, so we built, this is a very uh, raw um, kind of similarity measure where we can, which allows us to get similar parties um, where we can define a threshold and um, yeah, get parties that are very similar to this party. And we also have a tab here that allows you to investigate particular tenders. So this is a kind of CPV code, weapons and ammunition. Um, so here we could sort and we again have them displayed on a map. Um, we already have built um, an API for all this data. So this is live, you can actually check it out. It's api.detective.org um, where you can actually query the data sets and it's all, uh, it's been developed uh, as free software uh, and released so far as free software. So everybody can participate, everybody sitting in this room and in the world can participate in this project and they could have participated um, w while we were writing it. Um, so no competitive advantage, we did it all in the open. Um, so everybody can use, share, study and approve it. Um, and we also, we, we talked about co-design um, in the beginning. So uh, we think software is made for people um, and Detective will and all, uh, or is and always will be designed and maintained uh, and monitored uh, in close cooperation with all relevant stakeholders and user groups, such as journalists or um, public officials who want to investigate um, particular interactions uh, through procurement. Um, we love interoperability. This is why we will offer bulk downloads and we will make all the data accessible in, an, um, in the open contracting data standard and our API will be uh, conformant with the open API spec. And we fundamentally believe that linked data is more interesting, um, so we will connect this data also in the future with other data sources that we find very interesting uh, to connect it to, such as open corporates, um, open sanctions is another really, really interesting project that highlights politically exposed persons, um, and then there's the offshore leaks database, which could highlight um, connections with uh, offshore companies. Um, the big challenge to achieve this uh, linkage will be to first clean and deduplicate TED data because especially the XML files published, um, let's say the, 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 there can be increases uh, in, in quality can be made. <laughs> and currently we make use of a very naive approach of deduplication, but um, I think it will be very interesting to, to continue on this road and, and get outside expertise to, to actually improve the quality of data deduplication here. Um, and that's it. Um, thank you. <laughs>
couple of friends um, who are journalists in Berlin um, who I've, like, I've shown the prototype. It's already accessible. You can, so I've sent it to them and you can just put in a password. Um, and internally, of course, we also have a lot of contact with, um, with people who work in this, this area. So um, we can, we've already shown it. Um, but this will be the next step. Will be to get actual feedback of, of people using the app. We just finished this this uh, public beta, if you will, or alpha um, last week. So, so now the next step will be to get to get actionable actionable feedback from people who we want to target with this, and and then we'll see from there. Um, and I mean, I'm, I'm I invite you all to create an issue. Um, it's that's the beauty of free software. Um, you can all participate in that process. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and good luck to your team. Thank you. And our